C new vlog back in the Fitzilla. So guys, if you're coming uh, on my channel for the first time, please like and subscribe because you're gonna get a lot of knowledge about ship, about the life of a seafarer, and also some tips about fitness. So how's that? So please do like and subscribe the channel. So going on with the video, uh, this video is about the accommodation tour, how the accommodation of the ships look like. So so the ship has a very big superstructure. So it has many decks. So it's like the uh, monkey deck, bridge deck, D deck, B deck, C deck, A deck. Then you go for the upper deck and the sunken deck. So there are a lot of uh, decks out there. We will discover each and everything. You will see a lot of things like the gym, the TT room, the galley. So as we as we know, that is the kitchen. Kitchen of the ship that's called a galley on board. So the galley, the what do you say? The cargo control rooms, the hydraulic rooms, which you which you never been heard of, uh, which are there on tank, and I'll show you all about it. Is how it looks like the hospital, which we have a small dispensary and everything. I'll show you everything in this video. The weather is amazing today, as you can see the clouds and everything. I love these clouds. Uh, so the weather is beautiful. Uh, there are uh, there are a lot of ships out here. So. Moving on with the video, I'll show you uh, the video starting from the top of the ship, which is the monkey deck, and let's go down one by one and let's discover some new things about this video and make it a nice one. So this might be an informative one. So guys, do watch till the end, and I hope you love it. So let's go. We we'll go for the first first place, which is the monkey deck, and let's go up to the monkey deck. We are here on the monkey deck of the ship. Uh, as you'll see, it's windy a little bit. Can you see my hairs? Uh, okay. So about this monkey deck, uh, there are a lot of things out here. There are mis mainly the places for antennas. You'll see antennas all around. Antennas, antennas, antennas everywhere. So there, are, there is a mast up here. As you can see, these are the radar mast. Uh, and there are also navigation lights, which is called also called the Christmas tree of the ship. There you'd see the FVB antenna and a VDR, which is down there. Down here, yes. Uh, this is a magnetic binocular wire. And this is a place where I shoot my Instagram, Instagram reels mostly. So this place is a very beautiful place to capture the whole ship. And it looks beautiful. Uh, so this is the thing about monkey deck. There's only this area for the antennas, uh, the radamas and the about deck things which are there for the transmissions and nothing much out here. So you can see the funnel and this is all about the monkey deck and I'll just show you the view how it looks like. This is a monkey island and we would go down to the bridge deck. So after this monkey deck, my hands have become messed up. So we are at the nav deck. So nav deck, uh, what is the major thing? It's a bridge, which is evident because navigation. Uh, we are at the bridge wings right now. So you would see uh, the battery room which is there. This was the monkey deck up. This is the battery room where all the batteries are there in case of emergency we have emergency power backup uh, this is the bridge wing you see over there if the maneuvering is going on uh, when we are going to the towards the berth so the maneuvering goes on from there because it's visible the outside area all the indicator panels are out there uh, easy for the navigation uh, this is the fire hose and the fire hydrant uh, there is one hippo about here which is for emergency purposes. Uh, you will also see a fire extinguisher near the door of the battery room. And this is the nav deck. So this is a beautiful deck. And my favorite place, my working place for like 8 hours a day. And this is called the nav deck. So this is the navigation deck. So guys, this is the navigation deck. 
Uh, I've made a detailed video about the navigation deck, the panels, everything I've explained. So guys, do watch that. So moving out of the nav deck, let's go out and let's see what do we have over here on nav deck. Wheel house, charge space, public toilet, battery room, pilot pantry, and these are so many decks which we are gonna cover. This is the pilot cabin, place for one person, same like me, and looks beautiful. And here's a small pantry, which we have a pantry uh, for, the, for anything to eat. And let's go now. So what do we have on the D-Deck? D-Deck is uh, the captain's cabin, owner's cabin, chief engineer's cabin, all the officer's cabins and the cable duct, I'll show you. Oh yeah, let's move first cabin. It's our owner's cabin. Owner's cabin, I guess I've made a detailed video about the owner's cabin, how it is, the biggest cabin of the ship. So here it is. Uh, let me proceed over here. Here you would find, here is my cabin. That's the third officer's cabin. Second officer's cabin out there. This is the captain's cabin. Big. And a moving vapor. You find a chief engineer's cabin out there. So these are things which we have on our D deck. So let's proceed down to the C deck. What do we have? Chief, chief officer, second engineer, the mess room, laundries, and everything. So let's proceed over there. So guys, here we have. C deck, we have like the second engineer's cabin out there. Two more cabins of junior engineers. The lift gate, lift for going down, up. Here is the recreation room. It's mostly, we say, the smoke room. It's big, it's comfortable. So what, what is there over here for the entertainment? The scarum out here, there will be some magazines you'd find. Magazines, a TV set, all the games which we have with chairs, tambola and everything is over here. There's one dart board for playing the darts out here. If you guys like playing the darts, this is the place. Uh, mostly play carom over here. So, this is the time after dinner, every day we sit here to play carom. So carom is fun, enjoying because it's rolling nowadays a lot. So we are playing carom. So that's, and there's some music system out here, as you can see. For, for entertainment purpose, if you like, you, some people play cards, some people like playing some different, different things. So everything, whatever you like, it's over here. So let's moving out of this cabin. Here we go to the mess room of the ship. So this is the officer's mess over here. This is the captain's, chief engineers, all the top four management officers. This table, the second, this table is for the junior officers, like third officer, second officer, third engineer, fourth engineer. Electrical engineer also sits, uh, sits with us. And this is for the cadets, all the trainees. So we proceed over here to the pantry of the ship. This is the pantry. So this day uh, we are in the C deck, and the uh, what do you say? The if officer mess room is over here, so we have a dumb waiter system out here to get the food from the galley, which is on the upper deck, to the C deck. So a microwave for heating something. So this is a little more bigger because you just covered. One more if there are some other people coming from the outside and in the scene, we just open it up. So moving outside of the officer's mess, we have is a chief officer's cabin out here. Chief officers, like two rooms for the deck cadets. Deck cadets. And here is the laundry area. 
Like they are making three washing machines. One, two, and three, four. And this is the drying room for drying the clothes. It's off right now. Because people are not using it. If you want to use it, we just switch on the dryer and just close the room. And moving out of the drying room. Let's go. Let's go to the P deck. Posters, safety posters, everywhere. So, to the P deck. What do we have to the P deck? These are the petty officers and the, what do you say, the rooms for the crew. And we have a gymnasium and a TT room out here. So, let's go in. So, let's proceed to the B deck. What do we have over here? We have like the crew cabins out here. Like one cabin, two cabins, a locker, linen locker which we have, uh, some stores. So here are two more cabins, saloon crew, and we have the air conditioning room with the whole machinery to cool this whole big accommodation as over here. So let's go start with some entertainment parts. So these are the more cabins out there, and everywhere you can find. So this is a gym room. Switch on the lights. So this is the area, TT room, where the whole competition goes on. So if you are competitive and you're on the ship, you should know how to play TT. There's a match every day which goes on after dinner most probably. Everyone plays over here and there is a, some a different level of competition which goes on on board. So this is a time where people take out the frustrations on each other. This is the place. And we have a small gym. We don't have much things out here. We have a bench press. And we have some rods over there. Rods and some weights to lift up and work out. The, the weights are way too, way, way too much because it's almost like 30, 35, 40 kgs, which is more than enough for me. Like there are only two people who work out out here. It's me and the... Uh, one cadet crew who works with me, who is in my watch, he works out with me. So there, there's only two people who work out with me and this is sufficient. So, you, uh, when you say you don't have a gym and you can start giving excuses, so here is this gym and I've been working out for the last five months out here and maintaining my body. So believe me guys, just have a vision to work out. You will be able to maintain your body and just it's a, a part of dedication which you require on board and you would achieve everything. So let's move out of this cabin. Proceeding to the, this is the crew laundry and drawing room and two rooms out here. Oh. I can just move out also from here. Let's go out and see. There's a swimming pool out here. As you know, this is the swimming pool where we enjoy. And just moving out. So, this is a place, like what is there, for evacuations and everything, the crane and the deck, the deck looks beautiful. So, let's move in. So, these are the things which we have on the B deck, we're just proceeding down one by one. So, let's go to the A deck. So what do we have on the A deck? We have the cargo control room, ship's office, conference room, uh, hospital, medical locker, and we'll explore more things out here. So A deck, A deck mostly we have the cruise cabin, which is over here. You see all the cruise cabin. This area is full for the crew, deck crew, the cabins. So we have a hospital out here. Small hospital. Switch on the lights. So this is a hospital. Lights. Ah, it's dark. Oh, uh. yes. The lights on. So this is one bed which we have. One case of emergencies which we have over here. There's a stretcher, a spare stretcher we just kept over here. 
So some medicines, two beds, and one uh, bathroom, and we have a bathtub out here. It's good. It's clean, and a lot of things out here. So moving out of the hospital, let's go to another place. You see, I see the all the lockers out here. Ship's office, uh, a document room, and more stuff. I just get to the major thing which we have out here. Uh, it is the cargo control room. Guys, this is the cargo control room. This is the place which where we cover, where we do the cargo operations from. This is way too intense, way too complicated things out here. You can see all the lines which on the deck, the, all the controls out here of the oil, the gauges, the what do you say, the gauges for the pumps, the draft gauges, the UTI alleges you'd find. You see the temperature indicators and the whole big panel of walls. These are the walls. Everything. These are the walls which we have out here. Uh, the IG plan. If you if you are a cadet and you have learned about the IG system, here it is. This is the main IG system. This is the uptake blowers and everything. So we have two computers. We have two VHF sets also out there for communications. And let's proceed to the. Conference room. So, guys, this is the conference room. You'd find all the registers. This is the place where people from outside come and we conduct a meeting before the loading and the discharging operations. So, this is the place. So, you'd see a Xerox machine, a computer. Uh, then, this is the place where we set and sign up the documents. So, let's move out of this place. These are the things which you have on the A deck. Let's proceed on the upper deck. Upper deck, what do we have? We have the petty officers' mess room and recreation room, crew mess room, crew recreation, galley, crew pantry, provision lockers, uh, and the other stuffs. So, this is the A deck of the ship. So, let's go to the port side a little bit. You'll see a foam room. So guys, this is the foam control room of the ship. As you can see, this is the foam plant. Pura. If you uh, if you need the if you need the foam to be supplied on deck, this is the main walls which we operate out here. The pumps are there, which, from which we can supply to the deck. So this is the foam room. This is the recreation room for petty officers. We go more to the. This side, this is the hydraulic room. This is the place where all the hydraulic walls are there. This are the place if the hydraulic system doesn't work from the uh, what is it, the CCR panels. We come over here for the flow meter and the solenoids, and we check it from here and operate if the if the things are not working properly. So we can we also have some pumps which operate the two pumps out here, two motors. Uh, and this is the main thing. This is the main vault out here in the aft side of the ship. Proceeding outside. So this is the crew day room. So it's same like officers day room. Just the same thing which you have. You have a carom board, some cards and all the chairs, the molars and which, or whatever things are required. The music system, the TV, just and it's a very big area for all the people to gather. And we mostly conduct our drills. Our drills, not drills, I'd say the safety trainings over here only. So it's way too big and it can suffice all every and all 30 people on board. So let's proceed out of out of this place. And we have the crew mess room. This is the place of mess. Which people have. People come over here, the crew people come over here, they eat their lunch, dinner, and breakfast out here. So let's move, proceed to the one part which is left, which is the galley. So, guys, this is the galley of the ship. Second, what do you say? 
क्या बन रहा है आज के लिए सो ही जी एस ओ दिप एंड ही एज अ कुक एंड द सेकेंड कुक सो अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस यू हैव सम प्रोविजन लॉकर्स आउट यर एंड द होल गैली सिस्टम द हॉट प्लेट एंड एवरी थिंग आउट यर सो लेट्स प्रोसीड आउट साइड एंड जस्ट मूव डाउन टू द वन मोर डेक विच वी हैव विच इज कॉल द सामकिन डेक सो so guys we are at the sunken deck which is the bottom deck of the sh- bottom deck of the accommodation this is a very big place and this is a place of engine crew change room and this is the entrance area for the engine room i just open it and you see i should close this because if i open this will just bang like in because this this area is too noisy and you would see so let's proceed out of this area yeah we have is that officers change room on the lights are shut this is the officers uh, change room For me and the cadets and everyone who come over, we come to this place. The lights are taking a longer time to start, so uh, let's not waste the time and just proceed forward. So, some lockers. This is the FCR control of the ship, fire control station. In the fire control station, you'd find the. what is it the extinguishers the hypermes systems uh the what is it the alarm this what is it this is the fire alarm system for the isolation and everything it fire fireman's outfits and everything uh you'd see over here there's ebds emergency escape breathing devices and the co2 the main evacu- the main last thing which we have for fighting the fire is the co2 system for the engine room and the pump room so let's proceed out of this place go to the other side of the sunken deck so i just want to show you one thing over here is a uh, dry provision store the whole stock whole stock is stored over here for the whole month for whatever we have then this is the ref- uh, this is the what is it the meat room the fish room and the vegetable room which is there inside over here Probably closed, and I didn't bring the keys. Also, no, I have the keys. We can just proceed in. And I'll show you a little bit about how this area looks. Lights, the light. Lobby. Ah, uh, yes. The so, guys, this is the fish room. It's it's like. Uh, this is a meeting at some temperatures. Uh, this is a poultry room, a meat room, meat room. If you go in, oh heck, it's in freezing temperatures out here. It's in freezing temperatures. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to enter in. This is the freezing temperature. This is the vegetable room for the ship, where all the vegetables are kept. This is the place. the whole stock of vegetables is over here the whole vegetables so these are the things which we have in the provision stores so i just switch off the lights of everything so this is the panel i am switching on the lights and uh, let's proceed out of this place Probably yeah. I have the keys with me. I just took it from the key washer to show you a little more about what do we have out here. So this is the things which we have out here. Let's proceed out on the deck to see more things. Outside, 
passage of the ship. And here we it is the ship, the structure, the wings. It's big. On the sunken deck right now. Oh, and the weather! Oh my God, it's amazing. Ooh, the cloud is completely cloudy, uh, and also you can see the lifeboat. So, guys, this was the accommodation of my ship. I hope you would be well aware. Uh, if you go join a ship, and uh, so it won't be like you're coming for the when you come for the first time on board, you will be having some knowledge about the ship, how it is, the accommodation and a lot of things which are over here and it's beautiful. Every ship has a different structure, different amenities. So this is the thing which is there on my ship. There is There might be some completely other things on ship but these are the minimum, what do you say, minimum rooms, minimum recreation which, which are there which you would get on every ship. So it's not like uh, you won't get more than this. You'd, you'd find like something five star gyms in the uh, ship. You'd find some theater room. You'd find some amazing, amazing, amazing libraries and everything. But over here, there are some things which are not there, which is uh, which we can't help uh, to be very honest. Uh, so these are the things which we have, which makes this ship good for good for me also because I'm I'm here for the last one for three days and. 150 days that she has been good to me. Uh, it's also about like with the work you don't know how much uh, time it goes. The time flies I would say. So fly the tea is good because you get a what do you say a feeling of self depend uh, self, uh, you feel self dependent. You're self dependent. Uh, that, uh, you're independent. Uh, you don't have to rely on people for your work and you know what you what what needs to be done for your best. So, so ending this vlog over here. I hope you like the accommodation. Uh, there, I hope uh, I get uh, some beautiful accommodation, more beautiful accommodation the next ships, so that I can explore more and show you guys some good things about Merchant Navy and some better things. So, ending this vlog over here. So, see you in a new new vlog. And please like, share, and subscribe the channel, and just keep liking and sharing that it gives me a motivation to make more content so bye bye guys take care bye bye